All right, guys, let's get to it here because you somehow were able to throw three complete games. You were able to finish off the biggest game and get the start. Kirby Bellow able to help you out. I don't know if I can go the whole complete segment. Jane may have to help me out. Parker, we're going to start with you, the senior. You knew you had to win the tournament, the Big 12 tournament, to get to the NCAAs. What was the staff's mentality heading into Tulsa? Um, I think it's like it is any week. Uh, we're just trying to compete to the mitt. Um, use our defense and give our, our uh, team a chance to win. Um, I mean, obviously, we know in the back of our minds we got to eat up innings, but that can't be a main uh, priority for us. We just got to compete to the mitt, um, you know, take it one out at a time, one pitch at a time. And like I said, when we uh, get out of the game, just make sure we gave our team a chance to win. You definitely gave your team a chance to win. There were no complete games all season long. Now, a lot of that was skip and managing your arms. I'm sure Parker and a couple of you guys could have maybe gone nine had you needed to. When did you know, I can go all nine in this one? Um, I was pretty locked in. So I think like the first you know, four or five innings were kind of a blur. Um, once we got to like the sixth or the seventh, it kind of hit me. I knew uh, the pitch count was favorable. Um, you know, the stuff was still good, um, velocity and whatnot. So kind of around there, sixth, seventh inning, and then, you know, get through the eighth and, and to the ninth, and knew, I knew I was going to finish it then uh, just because I wanted the ball in my hands um, at that point. Able to finish it, get Texas to 1-0, and oh, also showing the great defense that you have done all season long, putting yourself in great position. Okay, you go to the complete game, you get the win, great setup. Ty, you're up next. After seeing the first complete game, what was your mentality heading into game two? I mean, I wanted, you know, just keep it as simple as possible. I mean, I don't want to think like, all right, now I got to go complete game. It's hard to match what he did the day before. I mean, he had a great performance, you know. So in my mind, I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. You know, don't want to get too big with anything. Just go one batter at a time. I mean, even down to one pitch at a time and just keep it easy for myself. We see you right now, and we saw you out of the pen. You've gotten better and better. What have you and Skip really worked on? How have you taken your game to that next level? I think once I got the starter role, the first start, you know, I haven't started in a few years, and every start since then, you know, we kind of go through a starter's mentality, and, you know, it's a little different than going out of the bullpen. You got to, you know, attack for an inning, maybe two at most. So you got to, like, prepare yourself a little differently. And every start, I've gotten a lot more comfortable out there, and I feel I have gotten better as every week's gone on. You've seen Zeke, Greg Swindell all the time. You look like our LHN analyst back in the day from 84 to 86. I mean, just going nine and just pepper, pepper, pepper. <laughs> all right, uh, shut out, ball game. Can we get to dinner? You were almost there. You get a three-run home run, perfectly placed, too, uh, in terms of what Mitch was able to do with that. Ties it up. How did you rebound from that? Um, once, you know, once he hit it and went over the fence, I mean, I was mad at the moment, but, you know, I had to flush it. And my main goal was to get back into the dugout with the game tied. I want to give us a chance. You know, my offense is giving me three runs all game. And then the home run, I didn't want to go in the dugout, you know, crumble and give up maybe four or five and then make it a harder fight. My goal was just to go back in there with the game tied and give us a chance. And, you know, Trace came through big and we got the win. Let's get to that. In your mind, you knew, okay, I was able to settle it out. I've dominated this whole game. We should have won 3 nothing. It was perfectly placed. It's baseball. Once Tres got that ball in the left field, what was going through your mind? No, oh, everything. Every, the home run was gone. My game was gone. We won the game. That's all that really mattered in the end. I knew we were in the winner's bracket and 2-0 and now, and it was, you know, we were in good seat. Yeah, you could feel you guys, too. You look at the bench right there. And the bench was really a big factor, I think, for this team. Before I get to Connor, Parker, you've been on the bench. You, obviously, as a starter, are on there. How did the energy change this week? Right. Um... I always tell people it's it's a lot easier to be energized when you win baseball games. But uh, even from the first pitch, I could hear them them chirping while I was on the mound. And um, we got early leads in all the games and kind of just stayed on our opponents and kind of hit them in the mouth first. And uh, the bench was big, though, even when maybe we were struggling or adversity hit. You know, hey, guys, you know, right back at it. And we answered a lot of the times, which is huge. Um, and the bench just did a great job keeping everything upbeat, positive, and uh, um, you know, keep us in the game. Reminded me of last year during that run. All right, let's get to the freshman who was getting ready for prom, which he wasn't able to go to because he had to pitch. <laughs> yeah, had to pitch uh, for good old Lake Travis. Uh, now you're, you're celebrating your 19th birthday, okay? These two guys, that's your idol right over there, throw two complete games, only complete games we've seen the whole season. What was your state of mind as you head in to this huge game? 
just want to win, honestly. And they set a great example for me, and I just knew I wanted to go out there, throw strikes like they did, and see what happened. So that's the way I went into it. How, how did your stuff feel once you started going on? We see the stuff looked pretty good, but how did you feel with it early on? It felt great. I mean, the first four were really just easy. Um, things were going really well, and uh, one of the guys got that first hit, and it was a really good at bat by him. And that's when it started to grind a little bit, and things become a little bit more difficult. But um, it was it was went really well. You guys were rivals in high school. He was taught not to like you because you're the Dripping Springs ace and he was the Lake Travis ace. And it's like, don't like him. He's a freshman. He's a senior. But obviously, you guys have grown close. He thinks the world of you and models his game after you. Do you say anything when Connor's going through that type of game in the sixth or seventh? Was there anything like, hey, buddy, just pitch by pitch, out by out? Um, honestly, when it comes to game time and uh, the game, I don't say much to, to Connor. I know he's pretty locked in. Um, I try to not make him overthink anything. You know, I think I just told him, hey, finish the job, finish what you started. Uh, you know, little cues like one pitch at a time, win this moment. Little things like that that are our, you know, cues to get us back in rhythm. Um, but other than that, just keep it short and simple. And, you know, when he's doing his thing like that, it's, it's fun to watch and it's easy. Yeah, and why talk to him when he's talking to himself, right? <laughs> now, I, I absolutely love it. Even the last out, the change up you threw in the dirt when you got the K, I could see you talking to yourself like you got away with one. That should have been ball four. I absolutely love it. Take us through why you talk to yourself and what exactly you're trying to get into. Well, a few weeks ago, Skip told me to watch the movie for the love of the game, and I'd never seen it before, and I'd heard great things about it, and Coach had been in it as well. Well, um, clear the mechanism is where I learned that, and so I took that in the game the other day, and so I just knew that to stay within myself and be myself, and that's where it kind of came from. I see you guys laughing. Kyle, let's go ahead and get to you, because we're going to get you here in a second. As a fellow freshman, what are you thinking when he's talking to himself? <laughs> well, he's locked in the game and, you know, we each kind of talk to ourselves in the mound like, okay, execute this pitch or uh, get the job done right here, make a full count pitch right here. And I think it's kind of funny in the bullpen, uh, seeing his expression come off the mound <laughs> after he's talking to himself like, that's, that's Maze for you, like, that's, that's our starter. That's who he is. <laughs> uh, Ty, what's your take on it? I think it's hilarious. I mean, I think that's... <laughs> I think that's his way of calming himself down too, you know, like when he, I know during the game he, he missed a fastball up and he said, get it down, get it down. So, but that's just his way, you know, of calming down. It, it gets him back to square root, it gets him grounded. You mm -hmm. know, he could get real sporadic and like, you know, he might be like angry, but it calms him down in a way and it works for him. So yeah, you can see it. it. You can see it in the eyes too. And I, as a, I think would freak out a hitter too. It's like, what is he talking about? Let's get to the biggest game. These guys did their job. Three complete games, including your fellow freshmen. You know, look, I have to give a quality start or else our season is over with. You've got seniors. That's the reality, Parker. Is it not? <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I guess. You don't want them to think about it, though. I know, I know, I know. So you don't want to think about it. How do you control those nerves when that's in the back of your mind heading into that start? Well, uh, I definitely did think about those nerves at one point before I did start that game. I think once I woke up in the morning, I was thinking, okay, this is – you know, championship Sunday, you know, big day for Longhorns. Just got to do my part, you know, give it all I got and just leave it out in the field. Uh, just do what I do and do everything I can for the team. And, you know, as the game went on, started to, you know, calm down, ease into it. Uh, about the fifth, sixth, and seventh inning, the rain started coming. It's kind of like, all right, this is, you know, starting to get a little bit of a grind. We just got to keep pushing, keep getting to as far as I can the game and give it to the bullpen, who didn't use all game, thanks or all weekend, thanks to these guys yeah, right here. <laughs> right, I know, only five guys total. Real quickly here, your stuff's always been there. We saw it at Flower Mound. It, it was here this year. The control got a little bit better. What was the key to that? Uh, me and Skip throughout the year, just been working on uh, my head really, just not jerking, not trying to overthrow every pitch, just more location, location, you know, the velocity will be there. You know, think more about hitting your spots, executing pitch one at a time. And it's really worked for me from beginning to beginning of the year to now. Uh, you know, I thought my stuff on Sunday was a lot better than earlier in the year, but I thought it was a lot more consistent. 